Hello, gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode of the Gentleman's Club. I'm your host, Mark Antimate, and in today's episode, I'm continuing doing my reviews over some Jim Beam whiskeys, and I have just shot this episode that's being recorded right now, as you see, consecutively right after I've just finished reviewing the Jim Beam Apple Whiskey Liqueur. And we're going to continue on this trend of the whiskey liqueurs and I'm going to consume the Jim Beam vanilla inside of this episode. Now I expect this to be almost the same as the apple but just of course the apple is going to be transferred out for more vanilla. And as you can see I have some water inside of my glass here. Not only to clean out my glass but to also clean out my palate. So I'm not going to speak any history about this one. I'm just going to say really quickly, if you watched the previous video, you already know. But if you don't know, anything that's under 40% ABV or 80 proof is not considered whiskey. By law, it's just considered uh, a liqueur. So this is a mix. And this one is 35% ABV, uh, 70 proof in the United States. It says at the top, rich and smooth, Jim Beam Vanilla. Okay, and that's it. So what Jim Beam said about the apple whiskey, they said uh, it's going to taste like apple with a hint of oak in the back, but I tasted no oak. And I'm expecting this one to taste like vanilla with supposed oak supposed to be in the back but I don't think that I'm gonna catch that at all as well because I think it's more or less the same as the previous whiskey that I had just was the substitute of vanilla for a green apple oh, the vanilla smell is very great on this one probably the greatest that I've ever smelled yet but Calling this whiskey is, is very tough. I don't want to say that. I've had other whiskeys with more vanilla, but as a liqueur, this is probably the most vanilla that I've ever had dealt with before. Looks like very young bourbon, very light color. The smell is so good though, very aromatic. Mm. The vanilla is way too intense in this one. Whereas I enjoyed the intensity of the green apple and the green apple one because that tastes very much like candy on the tongue, like liquid candy. This one is just just way too intense. Maybe this would make a nice cocktail if you mix it with something else. Just pour it inside your coffee in the morning and see what that's like. <laughs> I, that'll, that'll make for a nice uh, surprise in the morning. But as a standalone liqueur, too strong, too intense, the, the vanilla. I mean, I'll finish this one off, but will I buy the Jim Beam Vanilla again in the future? Uh, probably not. Will I buy the Jim Beam Apple in the future? Uh, quite possibly. I mean, if I'm having a party with some girls or, you know, uh, the type of young folk that like cocktails or mixed drinks and they just, they drink more for the flavor and less for getting a buzz. This is something that you could share around with everybody and they would enjoy. But this one is just uh, just too intense, but it is rather nice. If you like intense vanilla, go ahead and knock yourself out. Anyways, gentlemen, I thank you for watching this quick review over the Jim Beam Vanilla Whiskey Liqueur. And um, make sure you drink responsibly. Salute to you wherever you may be out in the world. And until next time, gentlemen, Keep it classy.